Hey everybody, welcome into Farm Cooking with Nan. Today we're just going to be cooking all day long. <laughs> it's one of those days I need to cook. And so, I, first thing I'm going to do is to, I'm going to put on a crock pot full of um, uh, lasagna soup. Okay, that's what we're going to have for supper. So first of all, I'm just going to take, I have about one and a half pounds of, let me grab me a spoon. One and a half pounds of um, fried sausage. Sorry about that noise. I like a little bit of that sausage drippings. There wasn't hardly anything. I like to leave that in it because that's just good old seasoning. That's good old seasoning, okay? Set this over here. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in this, okay? And set it on that warm, that warm eye. Okay, I've got this in here. Now I'm going to put one jar. This is a uh, 24 ounce. It's just marinara. You can use any kind of marinara that you want. I love these jars. I love to to uh, <clears throat> save them and reuse them for other things. Let me put just a little bit of broth in that. Okay, I've got a little bit of beef broth here that I've canned, and I need some more broth. And I don't want to open up another quart, so I'm going to make my own. You know I do this quite often. This is, well, I grabbed the wrong one. Let me grab the other one. I'm going to use the Better Than Bouillon Italian. Let me grab it. Oh, yeah, Italian herb. And I'm going to uh, fill that up with warm water. I'm going to let my water get real hot. And I'm going to put a big old heap and heap and spoonful in there. You can make it as rich or, and I put two of them, okay? Two, two teaspoons. I'm going to put some hot water in this, which will give my uh, cooking here a little bit of boost because it'll be warm when it goes in. I want to make sure I get all that off of my spoon. Get out there. Now I'm just gonna fill the rest of that up with some uh, hot water. If I don't use it all in this, then I can use it in something else. Gosh, that smells good. I'm gonna use four cups, four cups of, and you can use beef broth if you don't have anything but chicken. Oh mercy, hang on a minute. I was going to use some of that. That just proves sometimes you get to thinking about something else. I'm going to put a little bit of that back in that jar instead of adding anything else. Hmm. Y'all seeing me at my worst today. <laughs> seeing me at my worst. I got a little bit in the lid. I want to get that out. So we're putting one 24 ounce jar and I just don't want to leave any of that marinara in there at all. See, I got it out of the lid. That's my pet peeve is to do that. Then I'm going to put one 14.5 ounce can of diced, fire roasted diced tomatoes. Fire roasted diced tomatoes. I love the roasted flavor that it gives in the tomatoes. It's just so good. Now, I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to put, uh, get a, um, let me get this back there. Get the lid on my stuff. 
sort of get myself together here now. Now, I'm going to use my little chopper, and we're going to do a, a onion. Remember to save all your everything. I get a lot of questions behind the scenes saying, Nan, I had a lot of questions lately of people saying, Nan, can you, uh, do you put potato peelings in your uh, vegetable skins and stuff that you, that you save and you use? And I'm, no, no, I don't. And I think I don't because the, one thing, there's so much starch in them. And another thing is potatoes just don't have a flavor. I mean, you can if you want to. That's just a personal preference for me is that I don't want to, don't want to put them in there. <laughs> well, young and some days. It pops off all together, and some days it don't. Today's one of those days. So, y'all, I know I have new viewers all the time that say to me, Nan, where did you get this chopper? I, you can get it from Amazon. You can get it from Walmart. Some people get it from Walmart uh, in the store. They're lucky enough to find it in the store, but... Um, I got mine online, on Walmart online. I don't promote for them. I don't get any money for telling you all about this. If I had a dollar for every one of these that had been sold, I'd have a lot of money. This is one large onion I'm putting in there. And it was a big one. It was a big one. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. That, you know, usually a large onion comes up to about one cup. This came up to one and a half cups. I like a big old large onion. Then, I didn't have any green bell peppers. I usually freeze my green bell peppers, and I could use some that I've already dehydrated, but this one needed to be used. I have a red, just a red pepper, and... Want to make sure there's no seeds in there. You can cut out that little white membrane that's in there. And I'm just going to chop this up real quick. And we will get our vegetables in there with our goodies. And we're going to season it a little bit. Normally doesn't do that. Oh, I guess I need to get some of that, shake some of that down so it has room to go in there. <laughs> Ruby's got the barking on this morning. I tell you what, we went from 75 degrees yesterday to raining today. I think the temperatures are maybe even supposed to get down to where. Unfortunately, when I get a freeze and my hydrangea boots, boots of my hydrangea bushes are um, already have leaves on them, three inches long, two and a half, three inches long. And uh, <clears throat> it just tears me all to pieces. Last year, we had a um, real cold snap and it burnt my, it just, my leaves just turned black. They turn black and they fell off. And do you know I did not have but maybe one or two blooms last year. Hang on a minute and I'll get this mess cleaned up. But first I'm going to uh, finish this up and put all these good vegetables in there. Now if you've got a green bell pepper, like I said, go ahead and put your green bell pepper in there. Or if you don't like peppers, don't put the peppers in there. If you don't like onions, maybe just uh, put some onion powder. You know, I've got a granddaughter that'll be eating with me tonight, and she will probably be picking every onion. Or she'll say, man, has it got onions in it? And I'll say, don't ask me. And she's like, but then when she eats it, she eats it like nobody's business. Like nothing. And I'm like, 
Well, you know, it's just a mind thing. It's just a mind thing. Because there's nothing wrong with some, uh, with a little onion. Okay, I'm gonna put a little less than a teaspoon, well, about a teaspoon right there, of pepper, black pepper. And then we're gonna put some salt in there. And a teaspoon and a half. And we're gonna grab a couple of other things. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some uh, dried seasoning. I'm gonna put some garlic powder, teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna put a big old heaping teaspoon of Italian seasoning, maybe two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna throw just about one teaspoon of basil. Then I'm gonna put some uh, garlic. Let me wipe my spoon off. We're gonna put some garlic in there. Two great big heaping, three, we love garlic, and it's good for you. Three heaping table, uh, teaspoons of garlic, and really that needed to be probably three big tablespoons the way they were heaped up. Okay, See, oh, there's one other thing. Let me see, right there. We're gonna put some red pepper flakes. Just a few, not a whole lot. That was probably about a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Let me get my lid back on here, right? I broke my lid and it's hard to get it back on here. There we go. Okay, let's stir this up. And let's get this in the crock pot holder. If you wanna use hamburger meat, you can use hamburger meat. You can use half hamburger, half sausage. I just had some sausage that needed to be uh, used up. So that's why that I, look at all my red pepper flecks here. I just cleaned that up. So I'll throw them back in there and we will um, get back to it and throw this in here and I'm gonna put it on high for about two hours or put it on low for about four hours, and then we'll put the next step in, okay? Okay, we let it cook on high a couple hours, just to let all those things just marry. You know what I'm saying? I just needed them to, uh, let me grab a spoon real quick. I've got everything in the world already. Um, uh, Got everything in the world already washed, draining in the, in the sink I've used today. It's just a day to cook. <laughs> I needed some things done. You know, I can't have videos without cooking. So, now, I'm going to take, uh, I probably got about, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of these that I had left over. And when you have leftovers, I just wrap them up in some plastic. So I have eight. I'm going to use more than that, okay? Well, eight in a little piece. I'm just going to break them up in small little pieces, okay? This can get a little bit... Just break them up. Then we're going to put it back in here and... Um, we're going to turn it back on for about 30 minutes. We'll see if eight is enough. I just have to stir it around and see. And like I said, you can use hamburger instead of sausage. I had some sausage I needed to go ahead and use up. So I used a one 14.5 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I used um, a pound and a half of uh, just sausage and I fried it. 
Let me get all that in there. Let me stir it and see if um, I'm going to need some more. I'm going to use a few more, okay? So I'm going to open up a new box here. These are just, uh, I like to get the oven ready lasagna noodles. That way you don't have to boil them and cook them before you put them in your, your thing. So I said I had eight, nine, ten. Let's try four more and see how that goes, okay? That'll give, that'll make about 12. Maybe one more, maybe two more. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I thought, so there's about how many in here? It says twelve ounces, but I put in. Uh, four, and then I put in one. So five plus there's 16 in a box. Or 16 is what it looks like. And I put in about 13. I'm going to put in 14, okay? I'm going to put in 14. My son-in-law just stopped by to help me. A little bit on the computer. And he was like, mmm, what's smelling good in the kitchen? <laughs> I think I think 16 will be enough. Okay. And we will see you back in about 30 minutes. And we'll check this out. I gotta plug this thing back up. I dropped one in it. Little shiver went into my shoe. So we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay. First thing I want to tell you all is don't use 16 noodles, okay? Use 12. Use about 12. Would have been a plenty. Uh, when I, the 16, you know, they blow up. They blow up and they get larger. You like it soupier, you know what I'm saying? Then... You need to even maybe use 10 instead of instead of 12. But what I want to say is, what well, I don't know where, let me grab a little something to get my soup up out of there with. But I added, because all that, uh, the noodles jerked up all that moisture and stuff in there, I added three more cups of broth and let it, let it cook with that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That looks so good. Okay, I've got me out a nice big bowl. I'm gonna put me just a little bit of ricotta cheese on top. Just sort of stir it in a little bit. maybe even two spoonfuls. That way I didn't put it in that if somebody didn't like it, they didn't have to, to have it. Then I'm gonna put just a spoonful of sour cream on top and we're gonna have a taste. Let me get just a, a noodle in there. I'm trying to chase me down one. I 
I'm getting ready to do a couple of, I had a couple of hoagies left over this week from uh, doing some uh, sandwiches. I'm gonna slice them open. I'm gonna butter them up a little bit and I'm gonna put some uh, parm cheese on there, pop them in the oven. And that's what we're gonna have to eat with our, with our good soup, our lasagna soup. I hope y'all get a chance to make you some, this is really, really good. Remember what I said? If it is, if you hear something, it's my dishwasher going. A dishwasher going plus all those dishes washed. It's been a busy day. Um, once you put the noodles in there, just put the lid back on, turn them on low and let them cook about 30 minutes and they're re it's ready to go. And um, you remember you can omit anything if you don't want the red pepper flakes or whatever, just leave those out. It's not hot at all, it's just a little bit of warmth on a rainy day. So, because I used all those noodles, I added about three more cups of beef broth, okay? But you don't have to do that. If you use 12, you won't need to add any more. You'll just need to use the four cups of, uh, of your uh, broth, okay? Well, listen, I'm going to go. I want to tell y'all that I love y'all. I um, want to mention something real quick. I'm having problems with not just scammers, but being, being hacked into my accounts and stuff. So... I'm going to ask y'all to do something for me. Please do not send me anything that I have to click on. I do believe that's probably the way that they're getting in. Because I hate when you send me personal things not to, uh, not to click on them. So if you don't hear back from me, you know it's because I'm talking about like on Messenger. Is what I'm talking about, sending me a message. Now, your comments, I can talk to your comments all day long, but um, just your, just try your best not to send me anything. I know that uh, we love the Lord, and a lot of people send me things for about the Lord, uh, different preachers, and things like that, but I can't click on them anymore, okay, because I'm, <laughs> one day I'm not going to be here because that I clicked on something. So just wanted to tell y'all that. I'm gonna be speaking in a lot of different videos, just telling y'all, reminding you that if somebody tell if somebody sends you something saying, hey, I wanna be, that Nan wants to be your friend or anything like that, it is a hoax. It is not me, it is a scammer. Please do not accept any friend requests from these people. They will get into your system. Do not, because I'm not sending any friend requests out, okay? Please, please, do not accept any friend requests from me. Well, I'm going to go. I just want you to know that I love y'all, and I just want you to know how much the Lord loves you, okay? And we will see you next time, Lord willing. Bye-bye.